What's up, Bigger Pockets? I'm Dave, the Military Millionaire, and today we're going to be talking about what I would do if I were Nick the New Guy, rookie real estate guy in my market. How would I, if I'm the new guy, get myself established in such a way as to start building a reputation that it tra attracts people with deals, investors with money, potential partners, and all of these other things that create opportunities, right? If I had to choose between my entire real estate portfolio and my brand, I would keep the brand and start over from scratch with real estate. And that is because the brand and the network is infinitely more valuable and will allow you to replace the real estate faster than the other way around. You're the new real estate investor in town trying to figure out how to make a name for yourself, right? I think the first thing is just to be a good person. You're going to want to go to your regal, your local real estate investor associations, post in your local Facebook groups and get to know people, take people to coffee, take people to lunch, offer to, you know, get to know people, sit with other investors, talk to other investors, meet people, genuinely just focus on building relationships. You're not there for mentorship. You're not there to buy or sell or haggle or just foster those relationships right? That should be your first goal. Just fostering these relationships is going to help you get a little bit better known, right? And then talk to everybody about what you're doing. So you go to these meetups and you're like, hey, I'm Dave. I'm looking to buy 50 units worth of multifamily apartments this year. And they say, wow, okay, cool. And then you just have a normal conversation, foster that relationship. And if they cross paths with a 25 unit apartment complex that they're not gonna buy, guess who they might send to? Send it to, ta-da, right? Prime example, I just bought an RV park last month. Here's how I bought that. A friend called me, hey Dave, I got this killer RV park. Do you know anyone with $100,000 so we can take it down? Well, let me see the numbers. Wow, this is a killer deal. Hey guy, I've got this awesome deal and I know you were wanting to invest in this area. I know you have money from the sale of a home you just had. Are you interested? Here's all the details. Cool. Hey guy, I found your $100,000. Put them together. I got 10% of that deal for putting the deal with the money partner. This guy's gonna operate it. This guy's the money. I also brought my tax guy to do the LLC and I brought my lender to do the loan. But I got 10% of that deal for three introductions and I really didn't do much else. And that deal's gonna cash flow. And now my 10%, am I gonna get rich on that? No, but it is a deal that I got from people knowing who I am and reaching out. I've got 800 units that I'm general partner on with, ap with apartments that have come similarly where people have approached me to ask if I wanna be a part of their deal. This is the power of getting known and having a network and a decent reputation. So if I'm starting out in a new area, I'm gonna go to all these things. And if there aren't a whole lot of those things, I'm gonna start one. I'm going to start a meetup. And this is not hard. Here's how you start a meetup. You wanna know how you start a meetup? Facebook group, event, invite a whole bunch of random people, Tag anyone you know who's an investor in the area and say, I'm going to be at this brewery. We're going to talk real estate and drink beer. Who's it? It'll happen. It'll work. In fact, I can tell you it'll work because the very first real estate meetup that I hosted, Brandon Turner attended because it was his idea for me to host in Oahu at a brewery in Kailua. And I then hosted that meetup in that brewery for three weeks. Then it outgrew the brewery. So we moved to a church that one of the guys was a deacon at or whatever. And we were there for two or three weeks. And then there were some scheduling issues with the church needing to use the building, which is totally understandable. And it was Hawaii. So we just went to the beach. And so we met at the beach under a pavilion for another year, year and a half before I handed that meetup over to a friend and left the island. I think that the number one most important thing to achieve success as a real estate investor is to get around people who are already successfully doing what you want to. So if they're self-storage and you wanna be self-storage, get with them, talk to them, build that relationship. Don't worry about networking and, or, or mentorship unless you're willing to pay for it. Don't just reach out and be like, will you be my mentor? Let me buy you coffee. That's not the way to approach this. The way to approach this is to just foster that relationship and don't ask for more than you give. Provide value. Talk to them, ask them what problems they're having. You'd be amazed how many problems you can solve just by being an outside set of eyes or thinking about a problem differently. That is valuable and that person will remember and they will foster that relationship, which in itself is a form of mentorship. So if I'm the Nick, the new guy, the real estate investor, I'm gonna go to meetups. If I don't have them, I'm gonna start a meetup and I'm gonna become the guy in town who people know and people go to with opportunities. So you're open to opportunities, you're always nice. You're gonna look at any deal someone sends you because even if it doesn't meet your criteria and you can tell that right away, you wanna foster the relationship that they will send you stuff. You're gonna coach them on things that you're learning. You're gonna point them in the right direction to connect with other people. You're going to go and network with a local lender and a local property manager and a local, uh, some real estate 
estate agents and an attorney and maybe a tax guy and, and build this entire network and this relationship because people are the most important part of real estate. Advice for Dave as Nick the new guy, network, build your team, get around other people, start a meetup if you have to, or, or if you can, right? Like if you're decent with people and you wanna start a meetup, like there's nothing wrong with starting one even if there are other meetups because you're gonna become better known that way. Attract people, be a good person, focus on those relationships, buy real estate, wait for a long time, boom, you're rich. As I said in the beginning, my network reputation brand to me is more important to me than my four or five million dollars worth of real estate. I hope you got something out of this video. Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, and click the little bell for notifications. Also, if you're liking the videos that I'm doing for Bigger Pockets, just do me a favor, throw a comment down below that says, like, Dave is awesome, or let me know what else you want some videos on. That'll help me generate some more ideas, and we'll talk more.